This is a story of a freedom fighter. Born at a time when the non-cooperation movement was at its peak, she became a symbol of both hope and defiance. At the heart of the struggle in Allahabad, this was a freedom fighter who was free, independent, long before the British left. Serving the freedom struggle just as the woman she was named after, the Kamala Nehru Memorial Hospital at Allahabad remains an icon of a time of valor and altruism. It all started at the home of freedom fighter Kamala Nehru in the year 1931. Swaraj Bhavan began to double up as a dispensary for treating wounded freedom fighters and their families. As time went on, this little dispensary grew to become a permanent fixture in the hearts and minds of the people of Allahabad. Sadly, Kamala Nehru herself succumbed to illness in 1936 and never saw the Swatantra Bharat she had worked so hard to achieve. In 1939, Mahatma Gandhi himself laid the foundation stone of the Kamala Nehru Memorial Hospital. It was inaugurated on her death anniversary, on February 28, 1941. At the time, the hospital only had 40 beds, of which 28 were free. Today, it has grown to a capacity of 400 plus beds, of which 175 are either free or subsidized. From the total number of beds, 235 are dedicated to cancer patients. In keeping with the spirit in which she was set up, a number of initiatives have been undertaken over the years to benefit the people of Allahabad and nearby areas in the form of outreach programs. It is one of the few hospitals that provides housing for its class three and four employees and a scholarship for the children of these employees. In addition to all of this, she also serves as a training ground and turns out more than 130 professionals in various fields of medicine. Being a not-for-profit hospital, however, comes with its own challenges. Funding isn't always easy to come by and the demands on the hospital have only grown since its inception. The road has not been easy. With treatment costs for cancer on the rise, and the incidence of cancer expected to grow by 25% by the year 2020, the Kamala Nehru Memorial Hospital is facing its biggest challenge yet. But she's not alone in this fight. Born in the same year as her is the Tata Memorial Hospital, a visionary initiative of Sir Dorabji Tata Trust. It has been setting the gold standard in cancer treatment and research in India. Its state-of-the-art R&D satellite, the Advanced Center for Treatment, Research and Education in Cancer, that is ACTREC, fully funded and administered by the Department of Atomic Energy and Tata Memorial Hospital and supported by Tata Trusts, has maintained a single-pointed, laser-like focus on cancer prevention, treatment, education and research. The Tata Trusts has been working towards bringing standardization and affordability to cancer treatment in India by exploring a multi-point agenda that involves not just bringing down costs but also growing an ecosystem that supports treatment of cancer even in remote places. Bringing together their strengths, the Kamala Nehru Memorial Hospital and the Tata Trusts can create far greater inroads into affordable cancer care. This is the partnership of the future. For both sides, the common vein is to serve the underserved masses. While Kamala Nehru Memorial Hospital remains one of the few hospitals in the country, providing free cancer care to over 300 pediatric patients per year, the Tatas bring their technology and years of experience in cancer care to help refine the hospital's ability to detect cancer early. Along with the state-of-the-art equipment sorely needed for detection and treatment, the Tatas bring with them the forefront of modern oncology advancements and nuclear medicine. On the one hand, the Kamala Nehru Memorial Hospital's outreach programs are expected to help spread the word about cancer prevention and early detection. And on the other, the Tata model of distributed care is expected to create a network of smaller oncology centers and clinics, allowing more people to avail treatment at affordable prices and closer to home. 
combined with the oncology training that will be possible to be imparted to the numerous medical professionals who pass out from the Kamala Nehru Memorial Hospital each year, the impact on the community and country are expected to be far-reaching and permanent. Another revolution is coming. And once again, she is here to rally the troops for the battle to come. She has a new ally and her spirit continues to serve the nation in its battle against the Emperor of Maladies. May she be victorious again.